Hello, welcome to a Craft and Chat, uh, Tuesday the 28th of April. Um, please say hello if you are here. I'm just going to check on my iPad to see if I'm in the right place. Um, I did a craft along last week and started in the wrong place, so <laughs> there is every possibility. I am not where I should be. Oh, that looks good. I'm actually in the right place. We shut the door. Okay. Hurrah. Okay. So who's here? Is anyone here? I just. We shut the door. <laughs> right. I've turned the sound off now, so you can't hear me. Craigie, everyone's here already. Hello. So who's here? Kerry, Sarah, Sally, Sarah, Baz, Amanda, Kerry, Kerry. Hey, oh, from Riverton in Illinois, uh, Anne and Maria, she's from Western Australia, Louise is here, Maureen's here, Ros is here, Vivian's here, Elizabeth's here, hooray, thank you, thank you for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me, um, I seem to have failed on the cuppa, I've got a glass of water, um, but uh, yeah, I, I need a cup of peppermint tea, if anyone got one <laughs> that would that would be good um so lots of things to chat about today mostly not craft related actually um how's everyone's hair doing you see th this is kind of driving me crazy um for those of you that don't know I've, I've had short hair for a long long time and the week before lockdown I had it cut really, really, really short, a real pixie cut. It was only, I don't know, about an inch and a half long on the top, um, which I was really excited about my new haircut. And actually I'm really pleased because it's kind of growing out, but it's not that long. But we got the clippers out on Brian's hair <laughs> at the weekend and I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna have to do the same on mine. Um, but we might just do the back <laughs> so you can't see it. What do you think? Oh dear, right, I'm just scrolling on the comments. Um, Julia's here, Pan's here, Alicia's here. Kaz is here. Hi Kaz. Um, Michelle, Louise, Belinda, Pat. We have some... <laughs> Amanda Nichol says, we have subtitles. Have I done something silly? I've never seen subtitles on Facebook. <laughs> it might not be you that's done something silly, Amanda. It might be me that's done something silly. Um, does anyone else have subtitles? That's kind of weird. <gasps> Michelle says she's got thinning out scissors I can borrow. Awesome. Yeah, that still means I've got to get Brian to cut my hair. Um, my mum's here. Hi, mum. Sending hugs. Um, <laughs> Ross says... I'm sorry, bless you. Never do this, people. This is not a good thing. Ros says she's about to stick a bag over her head. So grey and long as the last appointment was cancelled as lockdown began. Don't put a bag over your head, Ros. That's not nice. Um, Chris has found me. Julia's here. Angela's here. She's got subtitles as well. Oh wow. Oh, so Baz, oh, clearly you're our guru for, <laughs> for today's session. She's seen subtitles on a few Facebook lives, a new thing maybe. Yeah, but is it, at, it, it it's not showing on my iPad. So that's kind of weird. And since I talk strange, <laughs> the subtitles might be a bit odd. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Jenny's saying my hair looks fine. Thanks, Jenny. That's really kind. It's driving me insane. When you've got short hair and it's just a, even a tiny bit longer, it drives you mad. Um, and I don't have grey hair. I have wisdom highlights. That's I think that's probably for us. I definitely have grey hair. So <laughs> about nine months, a year ago. Yeah, probably a year ago. I spoke to my hairdresser and said, look, I've been having highlights for 30 years 
and the grey's coming through and now we're having to do my roots like every three weeks or four weeks that's madness so I'm just gonna stop doing the roots stop doing the highlights and see what happens and this is what's happened I've kind of got these silvery grey bits hubby says they look <laughs> they look like glittery highlights you see he knows the right thing to say um but I don't know I think it it looks okay but I do need to go and get some new headshots done because my hair was quite dark brown mid brown mousy brown um so yeah so I'm I'm getting blonder by the day um and eventually I should just go completely silver and that'll be fine um, but I think actually the whole hair thing, I think lots of people, we're all going to be doing something kind of similar because we can't get to the hairdressers. Um, so apart from your hair, how's everyone doing? Has anyone kind of done anything different this week or last week? Found, you know, a new craft to try or cleaned out something or I don't know, what have you been up to? Ooh. Um, Baz is saying something about mir mirroring onto the TV. I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I am quite technologically, you know, savvy. But oh, I would, do you mean ah? Do you mean that you're 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 um, screencasting it to the telly? Don't put me on the telly. That'd be scary because I'll be bigger. Roz, you're adorable. So yeah, just just put some clips in your hair. Make some fancy clips. Oh, Jenny says her hair is quite silver, and her hairdresser says people dye their hair to look like hers. Well, that's awesome then, isn't it? That's obviously very very. Oh, okay. Lynn? Oh no! <laughs> but I'm looking at all these comments and going, what? Um, Trish has fallen off her bike. Trish, that's not good. I hope you had a helmet on. Um, I hope you're not injured. I hope you're okay. Um, I went out on my bike yesterday feeling very proud. Um, did a whole three miles. Um, yeah. So, first time my bike's been out in, ooh, about eight years, ten years, Brian and I serviced it. Brian serviced it, I held things. <laughs> That's normally the case, Brian fixes things and I make the tea and, you know, hand spanners and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, but I'm a <laughs> sitting here is not quite as comfortable as it was before I did three miles on my bike. Um... Okay, Lynn said that she's found me a new app called Footpass. Lynn, what does this app do? Um, Jenny's saying she's been casing my card in different colours. I love that. I love that, Jenny. It, it makes me so proud that somebody wants to copy my card. Um, good. Um, Ross has been keeping baby wipes that she's been using for cleaning paint, drying them and stamping on them and using arm projects. That's really good. Um, Alabama is in the house. Hello, Lou. Anne Hardiker uh, started her crochet attic 24 blanket last week. Loving it. Okay, so... <laughs> Yes, I'm a paper crafter. Yes, this is my full-time job and I love it, but I'm so crochet obsessed. <laughs> um, yesterday on my blog, I actually I didn't bring him in. I'll, I'll bring him next week. Um, I shared my, my little Tamachan bunny that I've been crocheting. Um, it's Aro Amamurugumi. Can't say the word. Bet the subtitles are having fun with that word. Um, but it's 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 like a tiny ca um, cartoon style character, really lovely, but so fiddly. Um, four ply wool, which is really thin, and a tiny needle. And you were, I was going round and round in circles, and one one bit of it was like half the size of my little fingernail. 
and it was tiny and these hands are not designed for little twiddly things okay so let's have a look oh here's here's another guru in the house it says click settings on this video and there's a captions auto generated if you turn it off you should work for all Facebook lives you view okay so Louise is that my setting or is that my lovely people who are coming to chat with me setting could you clarify that because if I've done something wrong then I need to change it for my next lives but if it's their settings then they can do that um oh Kay's been making lots of poppy cards for kindness she's got very brave she's cut her hair short couldn't take it anymore pictures we want pictures um Jenny I am in Hampshire in the UK um if you look at a UK map we are halfway between Portsmouth and Southampton in the little bit where the Isle of Wight is we're directly opposite that so right at the bottom um but if you can't place my accent it's because I'm a Nottinghamshire girl um never really had a Nottinghamshire accent either um Brian and I came via Somerset um we lived there for 10 years and we've been here for almost I don't know 20 something years so um yeah I I've kind of got a bit of a chameleon accent I I pick accents up from other people Trish is good because um she's aching she did wear a helmet but she'd done five miles it's going to take me a bit of time to get up to five miles Minnesota is in the house hi Debbie Lou says I love making your cards and bags yay <laughs> I'm so excited do you know whenever I go into YouTube and I get little comments it just makes my day if I'm having a tough day I go in and then I read all the comments and, and reply to all the comments because I just it makes me really happy that you guys are using my projects um right okay so Louise has said viewers so you lovely people out there in Facebook world it's your settings so <laughs> I can't find it now um hang on yeah so they you've got to change your settings everyone I think right so Angela's saying most exciting thing that's happened to me is answering the door at 8am this morning in my dressing gown I'd ordered some fruit and veg and didn't expect it so early that's my world all the time at around 2.45 today I'm expecting the doorbell to go because it's gone at 2.45 every week I don't know who it might be I've got nothing ordered but you never know um, Vicky's here and Amanda's here okay right so Laura's here right okay right okay so thank you everyone for coming to visit um I did have a couple of things to talk about um storage of papers patterned papers I wanted to share with you something that I do um that might help um I use plastic record sleeves <laughs> So for those of you that are much younger than me, in the old days, <laughs> we had single records, 45s, and albums. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm just, you know. So this, I buy these from one of the online stores. And these are my six by six. And these are really kind of sturdy. They're really cool. And then what I do is I keep them in magazine folders, um, the, like the boxes, and they all stand up. I do have them for uh, the 12 by 12 as well. This one, I don't know how well the, the camera's going to be able to pick it up. This is really thick, and this one is much less, less thick. Um, what I'm going to do is I will go back to the store I bought it from. Yeah, I've just got to get another one. Um, ooh, 
switching the lights off, don't do that. Um, and just tell you what the GSM is um, for these plastic things. But it's great because it keeps them really sturdy and you get loads in a pack. Um, so it's just a, a cool way of getting all your papers stored. And it means as well for me that all the little scraps don't end up like in a scrap folder because for me scraps of paper then I don't know which paper packets come from and then it drives me insane because I have to try and work out which one it is. Um, Louise I get it from from that store that goes from A to Z. <laughs> um, I don't know am I allowed to say? I probably am um, but I'll in the uh, comments later on when we finished I will tell you exactly what I search for when I get them because you want a, there, there are different I think it's micron weight to do with plastic and you definitely want the thicker ones this one's kind of a mid weight but this one's a bit too flimsy and I have to say I got this tip from my dear friend Natalie so that was that was her tip and I'm passing that tip to you okay what else have we got to say um so my my other question to you today is have you got yourself into a routine now this whole lockdown thing is anyone kind of you know making sure that they do certain things at certain times or certain days because um i think routines are really important um for me i work from home so i'm kind of here all the time so lockdown isn't that different for me, to be fair. Um, apart from the fact that I can't just pop out to the shop or go to Starbucks for some coffee or hang out with my friends, that kind of stuff, obviously. But day to day, it's not that different for me. Um, but the type of work that I'm doing is very different. I'm spending a lot more time on the computer, talking to you guys, um, and doing that kind of stuff. So I've kind of got a new new routine. I'm doing certain jobs on certain days. Tuesdays is live day. Um, so yeah, I just wondered, have you got any different things? Oh, Angela. <laughs> Angela, that is awesome. Um, she said only Tuesday at two. Oh, that's kind. She's coming to see me. Marion's still going to work outside the house. Yeah, there's so many people. My husband, um, yeah, he's a key worker too. So sometimes he's at home, sometimes he's away. Um, some restrictions have been, been lifted, absolutely. And Jenny's saying routines are overrated. I think they are sometimes. But at the moment, everything kind of feels a bit weird. So yeah i i <laughs> i need my routines otherwise i'll still be in my pajamas at three o'clock <laughs> or you know just get into different pajamas um chris is saying no routine she's loving the freedom to please my please herself um mel's got two kids at home and a hubby um so your son needs a regimented routine, which is exhausting. But if that makes his world and your world better, that's really important, isn't it, Mel? Um, Debbie is saying she retired a year, year and a half ago. And she's uh, home mostly. So ha, the weather's better in Minnesota. Good. Um, hi, Diana. Um, so yeah, so so some people are for routine, some people aren't. But you know, as so long as you keep coming back here at two o'clock on a Tuesday, that will just make make that your routine. That would be really awesome. Um, things happening in the world of stamping up. We the retired list is running at the moment. Some bargains to be had there. Um, we've got a digital stamp set that's just been released. I don't have mine yet. I'm gonna have a look at it uh, get uh, get to grips with it and then I will talk to you about that probably next week um, and show you it all and, and do all of that so I think we'll we'll focus on that next week um, ooh, no I think
think that's that's all in the world of a stamping up. So let's um, get the camera turned around and uh, get crafting. Um, oh no, one more thing before I go, or before you don't see my face anymore. Um, craft along for May. The deadline for ordering your kit for craft along is Thursday evening. So that's the 30th. It just happens to be my mum's birthday. Um, so yeah, so make sure you've either placed your order or you've ordered your kit before 11 o'clock on the 30th. I'll be sending out all the kits first class as soon as I possibly can. Um, we had a few that got there a bit late. Um, not actually late, but one of them actually arrived on the morning of the event and one arrived late. Um, but I'm I'm trying to make sure that they go out really, really early so um, they get to you in time. OK, so any questions um, about the things that I've said, stamping up stuff? Obviously not about me cutting my hair. <laughs> you, might, you might have a shock next week. I've had it all buzz cut off. <laughs> That'd be fun. Right, OK, so if you have joined me before... I'm going to put post-it note over you, so you're going to go orange for a minute um, because then I want you to get seasick as I turn this camera around and rearrange what I'm doing. So I'll see you in a second. Bye-bye. I will still keep talking to you so you don't think I've kind of disappeared. Let me turn this around. Move my iPad out of the way, find some card and stuff, okay. Right, let's see, oh, we are doing okay, I just need to move my iPad out of shot bit. It's on a bean bag, so there we go. That's okay. Just means that I've got enough space to work. As otherwise, what tends to happen is I end up working in a teeny, teeny space. Okay. So, I want to talk to you about these papers. These papers are retiring and they are awesome. And you all need to go and get them right now. Well, not right now. When I've finished talking. Um, they're called Best Dressed. And um, they are in the mini and you get 48 sheets. So you get four of each of these patterns. And I'm just going to quickly whiz them through. So they have flowers and like fashion accessories on. So we've got shoes, stripes, spots and flowers. Beautiful... Um, Perfume bottles, perfume bottles again, flowers, more mint macaron, uh, makeup brushes and flowers, beautiful handbags, oh what's on the other side of that, stripes, lipstick, flowers, more lipstick, more flowers, more flowers and more spots. Um, these honestly are amazing and you know, I do like my shoes and, and my makeup a little bit, but I'm not really girly girl, so I didn't buy them <laughs> to begin with. I should have known better because they are awesome. And I'm just, I've literally only just started using them and now I'm using them on everything and they're retiring, so I'm a bit grumpy about that. But um, we are going to use them to make a card. And um, the people at the, on my craft along saw this card um, last week. And this is using the poppies. And it's a step card. And I'm hoping that the camera is going to be able to pick up how this kind of stands. Um, but it's got like two panels. Um, and it's just really easy to do. But, like so many cards, for me, it goes flat, so it'll go um, in an envelope and post really easily, but it also looks like you are really clever. 
and the reality is I'm just going to turn a bit more light down on here um, the reality is it's really straightforward to do um, but you look really <laughs> you look really clever okay so the card itself starts out as a four inch by 12 inch piece now I always recommend when you're buying card you buy you buy your A4 but you also buy a mixed pack of the 12 by 12 as well because it makes a lot of measuring so much easier because A4 card is 11 and 5 eighths or something crazy if you've got a 12 inch piece of card it makes the math so much easier so I'm going to pop that to one side and I'm going to get my piece of cardstock and I've realised I'm using Blackberry Bliss and I'm, I have no clue how well this is going to show up on camera so we'll have to we'll have to see okay so um we've got a little bit of cutting and a little bit of scoring using the stamping up trimmer means that you can do both at the same time if you don't have this type of trimmer and by this type of trimmer i appreciate there are other trimmers out there um, but the type of trimmer that you need is one with a blade like this one that has got like a spike and when you put it into the card you actually spike into the card and then you slide and cut a guillotine is not going to work for this so if you don't have this type of trimmer obviously you can get the trimmer from my online store but <laughs> always I love saying that yes I you can get it from my store um, but if you haven't then most crafters have got a scalpel or a craft knife just make sure that you use it with a metal ruler and you use it on a cutting mat not on your best table because you'll be sad then okay so here are the measurements oh and I've just realized that something's not plugged in hang on <laughs> I've got a problem with my phone at the moment it's it's quite old now bless it and it gets to like 10 percent battery or even I don't know 15 20 percent sometimes and it just cuts out um that's just really not good so I'm plugged in now so we should be all right okay so cardstock four inches by 12 inches the first thing we're going to do are these two cut lines and what you're going to do is put your cardstock in and I'm going to bring this right up here so you guys can see. Can you see this one inch mark here? You're going to line it up at one inch and, huh, okay, I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see this. Ooh. Okay, can you see that one inch mark there on that? that I, if I put my finger underneath it, you might be able to see. Can you see? I'm looking in the iPad to see if you can see what I can see. Yeah, I think you can see that. Okay, so you are going to line up the edge of the cardstock with the one inch. And you're going to line up the trimmer blade with one inch on the... Um, track now hang on let me just show you this as well can you see that line there so that line is what you want to line up at the one inch okay sounds more complicated than it is I promise okay so you're gonna line that up so it's one inch and one inch so if you're looking at it it's one inch down and one inch in and you're just going to cut to the seven inch line so you press it down and cut da, 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 to the seven inch 
and I'm just going to move this up a bit in case I've gone off the edge. Okay, so it's at the seven inch now. Then lift up your track, don't move your blade. Take your cardstock out, flip it over, line it up at one inch again, put it down and press your blade in. Firstly, that'll stop it wibbling about, but also then it's in exactly the same place as um, it is on this side. And then you're gonna cut up two or one inch. Okay, and then I'm gonna move my cutting blade down to the bottom out of the way. Okay, so this is what you've got. You've got two cuts. And you need to do this, so if you are using a craft knife and um, a metal ruler, then um, make sure that you do these cuts first. Um, Jenny just made me laugh. She's nearly eaten one of the cat treats. She's got it in um, a bag in the same, same colour chip. So I'm guessing for us, for us Brits, you mean crisps. Um, so she's obviously put her hand in the wrong bag. Debbie's saying this cutter makes it easy. Oh yeah, just wait until you see the scoring. It's super cool. Okay, so we've got these two bits. Now, again, we're going to line it up at the one inch. Put your blade in and we're scoring now. So we're going to score from the edge to the cut line. So you're going to score one inch and then move it again to the cut line and score to the edge. So we've got two score lines there. Okay, the next score line is at two inches. Well, we can't go that way with that. So we're just going to turn it round and we are going to put that at two inches. So we're going to go from the edge to there and the edge to the cut line again. Right, so there we go. So we've got those two score lines. The next score line is at seven. Okay. So let me just open this bit. We're going to move it along to seven. And again, you're scoring from the edge to the cut line. Last week, we had problems actually people sharing the video. Um, can, can you guys see if you can share it? Um... because I struggled, or everyone was struggling with that yesterday. Um, it should, I've just done it into Crafting Corner Group. Um, it should, the bottom left hand, you should have like an arrow and a share. Um, if you can share it, that'd be awesome. It just means then that other people get to see it. Okay, so that's three score lines here. And then the last score line is at six inches. But you're, you're only scoring this middle bit. Okay, so all of the, so these three score lines have been the edge to the cut line. This one, you are going to share it, uh, share it. <laughs> no, you are going to score it just in the middle section. It's because I'm thinking about one thing and talking about something else. Um, so welcome to all the new people that have joined. So Diane, Gail, Judith, Kelly, Jeannie, um, and Jane. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so six inches. So I will go over all these measurements in a minute. And when I post the video in a little while, when, like the rerun, um, all the measurements and everything will be on there. Okay, so let me just get rid of the trimmer. And show you okay so you've got 
three score lines, one inch, two inches, seven inches, and then one score line at six. So these two are a mountain fold. That one's a mountain fold, and then the two inches of valley, and that one is a, is a mountain too. Okay, it's done. So easy, isn't it? So easy, and it is the trimmer that makes it really easy. What also makes it really easy is if you've got all the little bits cut out. <laughs> I will tell you what sizes they are though. Okay. Where's my Tombow? Right. Let me just open this out. So, there's a piece for the centre. And this piece is one and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. And then we've got these two pieces that are three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters. And then we've got one piece here, which is three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters. Now, just be careful with um, your cutting of your paper. So these three need to be portrait and this one needs to be landscape. If you've got flowers and stuff, um, and I'm good, to, I'm good to do a flower one in a minute for you, then actually it doesn't matter. You can, anything that has not got a dimension, a, a directional pattern, you'll be fine. But for this, obviously, what I didn't want is the perfume bottles on their side. Lou's just saying, what a cool Tombow holder. Yeah, my darling husband, Brian, makes these. Um, I have all sorts of different ones. So when I'm when I'm filming, um, I use this one, which has just got space for one. But on my craft desk, I've got one that's got space for five um, because I use so much Dumbo. Um, it's just a piece of wood um, that he's sliced and polished and made fancy. Um, but it's really cool, right? Don't stick your paper on upside down. That's this one. And that's that one. Now, if you want to, you could put paper here on these bits, but nobody's gonna see it. <laughs> so, kind of up to you. And then this one. and then the inside layer so this piece is four and three quarters by three and three quarters and you just need somewhere to write on okay um, I'm going to dare use my Blackberry Bliss ink pad Never entirely sure it's going to go, going to go well. Ugh. <laughs> Every time. What have I got that I can <laughs> wipe my inky hands on? Hang on. Ugh, honestly. Honestly, it's not good. Hang on. Let's just spread it about. There we go. So remind me, when I put the reminder up for the Facebook Live next week, can somebody say, Amanda, make sure that you've got a wet wipe to wipe your hands on. Okay. Ah, right, okay. So Sarah, you're saying a Blackberry Bliss ink is mouldy. Is it because it kind of looks like mine? Is it bumpy? Like this? Or is it actual mould? Um, because, um, this is kind of a weird thing that happens with, with some of the darker inks occasionally. Um, I just need to get this replaced. Stamping up will replace them. Um, so Sarah, if you send me an email and a picture later, I'll be able to... 
um, sort that out for you. Okay. Angela's saying she only bought the Tombow Blue a few months ago, wished she'd got some years ago. I know, it is the best glue. I love it, which is why I use it all the time. Right, so several people are saying that theirs is bumpy. Yeah, and do you know what? I, it doesn't actually bother me. It doesn't seem to make any difference to the stamping, um, but it just doesn't look very pretty. Um, but I have heard of ink pads actually going going mouldy. So, you know, that's a bit grim. I don't know why that would happen, but yeah. Okay, so there we go. It is done. Ta-da! And I've purposely only put one layer of dimensionals on there. No ribbon, no nothing, because I think the paper kind of speaks for itself. But it means then it will go in the post. So since I've done that, <laughs> here's one I made earlier. Right, so Sarah's saying it doesn't stamp properly. Then that's, you know, that's, that's absolutely needs to be sorted out. So... So just send me a picture. Um, Jenny's saying she needs to get some 12 inch cardstock to make this. Yes. And do you know what? Actually, I'm, I'm on a mission to get everyone to buy 12 by 12 cardstock as well. Because my scrapbookers get really sad that they, um, you know, they, they want 12 by 12 in everything. So the more 12 by 12 cardstock we sell, <laughs> the more likely my scrapbook is going to be happy. So I like that too. Okay, so this... I just want to show you a different variation of the card, but with the flowers instead. So, so obviously all the measurements are exactly the same. And so you'll be able to see, oh, so you'll be able to see now, I, it hasn't, because these flowers aren't directional, um, I haven't worried about the way I've cut the cut the card. Fabby. Okay. Right, so it's actually easier to stick it down when it's completely flat like this. I'm putting too much glue on at the moment. I sh did a video earlier today um, that's going to be going on YouTube. And I seem to have a glue explosion that's everywhere. It's probably because it's a bit warmer in here today. Although it's been raining. The garden needs the rain. Jenny says she's got a snoring dog. Yeah, my snoring dog is in my office. Um, because if I, if I bring her in here, the flooring in here... Is, it's a wooden flooring and basically what happens is she just click clacks all around and you wouldn't be able to hear me for her feet or her claws okay um the pink in this is lovely lipstick this color is going this is kind of your your warning here this color is leaving the catalog so if you want some you need to get it um, it seems that the reinkers for the retiring colours are still available. I did check earlier on. Um, so so that's good. So if you want those, then get those. And I am trying to tie a bow on camera. Just don't look. Because if you look, then I won't be able to do it. Hang on. Yeah. Well, sort of. That's not too bad. That's not too bad for a Facebook Live bow. And I tried this on my Facebook Live, those of you that were here then. It was a disaster. It would not go. But this one is alright. Um, my, my dog um, is a Border Terrier. Jenny. Um, she's, she's a very old girl. She'll be 14 in um, about three weeks. Two weeks. So she's a very old lady. So she spends quite a lot of her time sleeping. 
did you see it look an ink smudge okay I will replace that before I send it to somebody um, right now we don't want purple we want that one um, oh Diane's here hi Diane did you show Nina the the, the bunny um, Diane's daughter Nina gave um, my bunny his name so for those of you that missed that conversation earlier my crochet bunny um, it's called Tamachan and um, and I shared him on my blog yesterday so yeah I will bring him to the next Facebook live goodness me so Jenny's saying it's 11.45. So Diane, <laughs> what? Uh, it's 10.45. Crikey. So there we go. So there's the last, the last card. Let's, let's just get these together. Hang on. If I hold them, hold them like that, you'll be able to see. So that's, exactly the same card using the same card base the same stamps um peaceful moments so yeah you know you know i love that, that stamp set um but it's the paper pack so um the paper pack is what makes this so special lou's saying they're beautiful thank you um so I'm, yeah, I love making cards like this that have got a bit of, they look a bit special, um, but as you can see, they are really, really quick and easy to do. Um, you can do this with um, A4 cardstock, but you do have to do the measurements. You have to fiddle around with the measurements a little bit. Um, so my recommendation is to get some 12 by 12 card okay so i think that is everything for today i am truly grateful that you are spending your tuesday morning afternoon evening and almost into tomorrow <laughs> for some of you um yeah i'm so grateful that you you've chosen to hang out with me i will be here at two o'clock every tuesday um do come back and join us then if you are creative yeah, yeah why am i saying that of course you're creative you're here and you're you're hanging out with me um do join the inspiring inking crafting corner um it's a group where we hang out and share the things that we've been making um we inspire one another um one uh, person's been making scrubs for the NHS for um, has been doing that. We we share all sorts of uh, creations and crafts. Every crafter is welcome, and if you've made it, we would love to see it. So take care of yourselves, and I will see you all again soon. Goodbye.